Hi, my name is Claire Morrison. I'm the National Near Me Lead. This is a presentation for GP practices on how to set up Near Me. Near Me is a system that enables uh, patients to attend appointments by video using a smartphone, a tablet or another device with a webcam. Patients do not need to download an app or uh, have a login. They just simply go to a website address that's specific to the practice. They enter their details and they're then held in a secure waiting room until the, the clinician is ready to connect the call. Clinicians log into the system um, and they see uh, the view of their waiting area and they see patients arriving in the waiting area with their name and date of birth and they click on the patient that they wish uh, to join a video call with. NIMI is a tool uh, to reduce the spread of coronavirus, both in terms of exposure for patients, for other patients in the practice, um, and to reduce clinicians' exposure to the virus. It can be used for consultations for patients who've got a suspected case of coronavirus, but it can also be used for continuation of normal services, particularly for patients um, who perhaps are frail or immunosuppressed, where the risk um, of becoming infected is far greater. NIMI can be used to enable home working for clinicians, uh, both in cases of, 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 patient, of clinicians being uh, quarantined, but also uh, where they are at higher risk um, of contracting the virus. And it can provide resilience uh, to a practice. So where a practice is buddied up with another practice, um, uh, for that practice to provide remote uh, support uh, via NIMI. There are three steps to setting up a GP practice to provide near me. The technical setup, the processes within the practice and then individual training on the system. Before I go any further, I want to mention the place of near me in general consulting uh, at this time. The telephone remains the first line to reduce the spread of infection. But then there are some situations where video will provide additional clinical information. So it's a step up to a near me appointment and then again a step up to face to face for when video is insufficient. So the first step for a practice wanting to introduce near me is to identify how it's going to be used within the practice. So that's a discussion and clinical input into this is essential. Will it be used for scheduled care, for unscheduled care or a mixture? And are there any specific clinical criteria or exclusion criteria that clinicians would want to make? Once those decisions have been made, near me can then largely be set up by the practice staff. So setting up, step one, technical setup. The first thing to do is identify where clinicians will be providing the near me consultations. Um, so all locations where this could happen, which includes uh, clinicians working from home. And in each um, location, check, first of all, the internet connection, uh, which is essential uh, for making a call. Secondly, has the clinician got a video calling device? Um, and that could be as simple as using their own smartphone um, if no webcams, for example, are available to order. Um, and is there hardware on that device that's appropriate for near me? The specifications uh, for all of these um, are available in the resource pack for primary care. The other area to consider if clinicians are going to be working remotely from the practice is remote access to the clinical system, whether that's vision or EMIS, and that is essential uh, for remote working. If there's any problems with any of this, the, these um, criteria, then practices should contact the eHealth or Near Me lead within their board or HSCP. The second area of technical setup is the physical NIMI waiting area um, and there is a specific form for this available on the National VC website which is available at the link here. When you go to this website um, there's a little tab that's called Scottish GPs. You click on that um, and that provides a, a form to get yourself set up. In some boards, uh, the uh, existing tech teams are setting people up uh, with waiting areas already. The second stage of setting a practice up is the practice processes and to be honest this is a, an essential part um, uh, that will really make near me work properly um, if some time is spent at the beginning just thinking about the processes within the practice. So the general process for attending an EMI appointment is first of all the identification of suitability uh, for a video appointment. If that's shed, if it's a scheduled appointment, it's fairly straightforward. It could be some be some criteria that the clinicians have preset, or it could be within a consultation deciding that the next appointment will be followed up by near me. If it's unscheduled, um, then it would be a case of following uh, the predefined information that has been made available to patients, perhaps um, on the practice website.
The next bit is scheduling the appointment. So um, that could be the practice staff ad advising the patient on the criteria and then making the appointment for them. If it's unscheduled, then obviously there won't be an appointment being made, uh, but the, the patient will be following the information on the website. Attending the appointment involves the patient clicking the start call button uh, on the practice website which takes them directly into the near me waiting area. There are some cases when um, other options are used instead of a practice website. And then connecting the call, the clinician will see the patient arriving in their virtual near me room uh, and then they will click to join the call and open the consultation with the patient they want to see. And then finally the consultation takes place by video. So for scheduled care appointments, uh, three things that need to be thought about are first of all the appointment process, secondly how patients are going to enter into the system and then thirdly the booking in or arrival process. So in terms of appointments, uh, the first thing is the criteria for booking near me appointments needs to be agreed. Staff need to be trained on what that criteria is and then the clinic templates uh, need to be up dated to show when clinicians have got near me appointments available and for this you need to consider for example um, is there just one or two rooms in the practice where clinicians could be offering a near me or will it be um, available for all appointment slots at all times. The other thing to do is to agree some coding um, so that uh, near me appointments can be clearly identified in, in the same way that a telephone appointment can be clearly identified. Next part is for patient entry. So how will patients um, access the information they need about near me and enter the system? The preferred option for this is to place the information on the practice website. So that would be some general information about near me, um, the start call button that links the patient to the near me waiting area for the practice, and also a link to the National Patient Information website about near me, which is available at nearme.scot. If the practice hasn't got a website, then other options are to have a, a, a template email or letter or text message. And in some locations, the board or HSCP is providing uh, a website a hosted service. The next step is around uh, the booking in of the patient when they've arrived. So there's two options for the clinicians to know that the patient has arrived. The first is that the reception staff would monitor the near me waiting area in exactly the same way as they would monitor the physical waiting area in the practice. Once the patient has arrived, uh, the, the reception staff would mark that the patient has arrived on the clinical system, so vision or EMIS, and the clinician would be alerted as normal by seeing the patient had arrived in the clinical system. The alternative to this is clinical staff would directly monitor the near me waiting area themselves um, and identify when the patient had arrived. If the practice is going to offer unscheduled care for near me, there are three different service model options. Uh, the first is telephone triage first. Um, I suspect in most cases this will be the preferred option. Um, alternatively, uh, patients could be directly triaged by near me um, and then finally just offered on a first come, first served basis. So if a triage system is being used, then um, normally this would be slotting into um, any existing model. Um, so defining the pathway, so how triage will happen, is it going to be a phone triage first um, or is it going to be done by near me? Um, the time and method of follow-up appointments, so um, is there going to be immediate follow-up after the triage? Um, are appointments going to be made uh, later in the day uh, for follow-up? All staff um, who are triaging should be trained on near me and how that can be used within this process. Um, and as before, as for scheduled appointments, the clinic templates and coding needs to be in place to identify near me consultations. The other option is to offer a first come first served uh, type of near me clinic when patients could just enter uh, the clinic uh, from a link online um, and would be seen um, on, as they arrived in the system. I think if practices are going to opt for this uh, they need to make the patient information about suitability for video calling very clear uh, um, and also the times that the service is available. So up to now we've talked about how the patient uh, will um, arrive and be seen but the last part is thinking about the consultation itself. So the consultation uh, requires the clinical information, we've said that already, um, and the outcome of the consultation um, would be recorded in the patient's clinical notes just as normal.
However, there are some further steps which might be different if the consultation happens remotely. And in particular, that's thinking about the forms and any follow-up. So if a patient needs a prescription, how would that be um, arranged for them if they were attending remotely or if the clinician was working remotely? Would it be collected from the practice or directly from the pharmacy? And if the clinician is working remotely, how will that prescription be printed and signed? Similarly, for fit notes and any other paperwork, how is that going to happen? Um, and then also blood tests and, and any other sort of tests that need to be done, thinking about how and when they would be done. So all of these things need to be planned for um, uh, at the start um, because it just makes it far easier for clinicians when they're offering an EMI appointment to know how are we going to make sure that any follow-up is done um, appropriately. Finally, contingency planning. Um, there will be situations where near me calls fail. We should recognise that right from the start. So patients may have a problem with internet connectivity um, or they may have a problem with their device not working properly. So practices really should have a clear contingency plan in place for this, which could be switching to a phone appointment, switching to a face-to-face -face appointment or rearranging for another time. So the last part of setting up a GP practice is the individual training that is required on the system itself. So uh, training is provided by the National VC team. There is a pre-recorded video for clinicians. It takes about three minutes to watch um, and it's available at the link shown here. In addition, there is drop-in training being provided uh, by the National VC team between the 16th and 27th of March. Um, there are links on, on the website uh, th uh, that's uh, shown above here as well. Um, and uh, clinicians can just log in um, and find out everything that they need to know and ask any questions about the system. There's also some specific training um, around the role of receptionists um, and for system administrators. So uh, practice managers, or it could be someone else allocated in the practice, will have admin rights uh, for their near me waiting area where they can do things like add other people as users of the system, uh, change uh, their waiting room hours and so on. So there's information about all of these things uh, available via the National VC team. There are also some other additional resources available uh, to support practices. So first of all, uh, there's the guidance that came out with the NHS circular last week um, and that's available on the tech uh, tech.scot website, which is tec.scot website, uh, which is shown above. There's also a much more detailed resource pack for primary care, which has got lots of additional technical information, uh, which is um, available um, embedded in the guidance too. This is um, an editorial that's just recently appeared in the BMJ, which has got some clinical information about how, about when to use video within a coronavirus outbreak um, and the evidence base for using uh, video consulting. So in summing up, what practices should think about when setting up near me is, first of all, the type of, of, of use that there'll be within the practice and any clinical criteria for use. Secondly, the technical setup in terms of both the video consulting equipment and the near me waiting room. Next, the appointment process, how patients are going to enter into the near me system and how they're going to be booked in for their appointments. If an unscheduled care process is going to be used, then how's that going to work? What forms and follow-up arrangements need to be in place? What's the contingency plan? And finally, have all staff been trained? Thank you very much.